Hello, my Pisces friends, and welcome to Indigo Goddess 1111. Today, <coughs> excuse me, I am bringing you your weekly general and love uh, tarot reading for January 4th through the 11th, 2018. So let's get started. Spirit and angels, what messages do you have for our Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regards to their home, their work? Life, money, anything in general in their life that you want them to know, that they need to know, that they get to know. Okay. Okay. So your work card is the Knight of Cups. So um, you are going to get a job offer for a group of you, I see. And this is something that could emotionally fulfill you. It is what you have been dreaming of, um, praying for. Um, you are going to get that job offer this week. At your home card, you have the Queen of Swords. So um, somebody's going to be in a bad mood this week. <laughs> Um, they feel they're being lied to, um, deceived. They feel like there's just something being hidden in regards to um, something within what something within the marriage is what I'm hearing. There's there could be secrets, um, or not necessarily secrets, but not telling the truth, not coming forward with information. Um, the unexpected this week is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So you could be um, you could be getting news of maybe losing a job. Somebody could lose a job. Somebody um, could tell you that they're no longer happy within the home. Something within the home life uh, or the work money. Something unexpected is not coming in or is leaving. And your position in this is the Six of Cups in reverse. So um, you are starting to look towards the future instead of looking to the past. Um, Spirit is saying that you were kind of stuck in your head over things that didn't go right in your past. Um, that you weren't even concerned about the now or the future. Your overall card for the week is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So... You're just not wanting to really put much work into anything this week. You are um, having a, you're having a tough week. Besides that job offer, um, you're having a pretty tough week here. Can I get a clarifying cup for the night of a clarifying card for the night of cups, please? Okay, and you got temperance. So this job is also going to just um, really make you feel in life like you are where you're supposed to be. Um, you're going to feel balanced. You're going to, it's going to feel natural, um, kind of go with the ebb and flow of things. And the sun is here. It's in reverse, but that's okay. Cause either way, it means that this is, um, this is something that is meant to, um, something that's meant to be, it's going to happen. Um, for the Queen of Swords in reverse, somebody's keeping the tower from falling. Somebody is keeping, um, something is not letting uh, the tower fall when they know that that's what needs to happen. Um, you could be waiting for somebody to show some emotion towards you um, because you're sitting here like, um, I'm waiting. You see that look on her face? She's not impressed. She's like, hello. Um, I'm not letting this tower fall until somebody puts some emotion into something. So somebody's holding back and somebody's just waiting. As far as the unexpected, you are going to get news of, um, it's the seven of, or the five of swords. So you guys are arguing, battling over something. Communication is going to come in. Um, and you feel like kind of like the nobody wins card like you may have won but you really didn't win 
And that's what you're feeling this week. And it's with a soulmate. So um, you could be fighting over um, splitting things or or whatever. You could be dealing with an earth sign. But um, you're going to feel like you were defeated this week. Um, yeah, you're really feeling really feeling like um, no matter what you do, you can't win. Can I get a clarifying card for the Six of Cups here? Oops. 